I've been doing some porting work on this Royal Enfield 500 bullet cylinder head today and I thought I'm not really here to discuss that but I thought I'd discuss some of the tools that I use when I'm doing the work and um, here's a large number of some of the ones I've been using today and basically these all fit in the chuck of a drill obviously um, but quite often you get these um, rotary flat wheels and these little deburring tools, the um, HSS, high carbon steel cutting tools, which are all excellent in their own way, but a lot of them have um, shafts on them that are a little bit too short really. By the time you got the thing in the chuck of the drill, and the size of the chuck of the drill going into the port, sometimes you can't reach very far in before the chuck is up against the entrance to the port or whatever. And it's a bit of a nuisance because the tools might be doing a great job but they just can't reach. So this is something that I've done to help get round that. And uh, rather appropriately, these are pieces of Royal Enfield bullet push rods. And um, what I've got here is uh, I've got my flat wheels, the stems of some of them. I haven't done it with all of them, but I've got a good few that I have. I've cut a quarter BSF thread on them so that I can screw them in to the threaded ends of the push rods, or what were the threaded ends of the push rods. And basically, the direction that the drill spins tends to tighten them. You know, they, they, they won't work loose, although you could actually add a lock nut for a little bit of peace of mind. But uh, I wouldn't want a lock nut if I could avoid it for the same reason as I've ground down what used to be the hexagon ends of the push rods to a round shape. Because when you've got this lot spinning around in a drill, especially with um, perhaps some of the smaller um, flat wheels fitted, there is a risk or a possibility that your um, mandrel made of the push rod could touch the uh, wall of the port. Now, it's nice and smooth and round, but as it was originally, hexagon, all those sharp hexagon edges would be clattering against the wall of the port and possibly dig into it and mark it or make the uh, drill kick. Um, and could be quite a nuisance so what I've done is I've spun these I've got a lathe but you could spin them in the chuck of a drill actually and just hold the um, flat wheel uh, or the linisher disc rather of a grinder against it until you've got it nice and smooth and round and then there's no risk of that doing any damage to the walls of the ports or anything else that might be in there perhaps you might have a valve guide still in there for all I know these are out um, well, like I say, these are old British style Royal Enfield bullet push rods, so they're quarter BSF thread. Later ones were M6 metric. Well, if they're M6, you can easily, just as easily, put an M6 tap on the shanks of these flap wheels and cut that thread on them. And either way, they'll screw into your push rod and you've got a nice extension. I mean, you could even have a longer extension. I've just used them at this length, but obviously a full length of push rod would be nearly twice as long as them. Um, the uh, deburring tools, they're a little bit of a different matter. They'd be more difficult to cut a thread into their um, stems because obviously they're HSS steel, but a couple of them are actually more or less a press fit or a tight push fit into the push rods anyway. But one I fitted today that slid in a bit too easily, I just um, applied some bearing fitting compound to that and it's locked it into the push rod nicely. And uh, we've got a good mandrel there. And it doesn't really matter that they're locked in because obviously these last a heck of a lot longer than the flap wheels which wear down quite quickly and you want to get them out and change them. And it's just a matter of unscrewing them, obviously, and screwing another one in. These will last for many, many jobs on cylinder heads before they wear down. I think this one is probably knocking on the door of about 10 years old now, so 
it's not like you've got to change them every five minutes so I just thought there they are I just thought I'd discuss some of them it might be of interest to somebody who wants to have a go at their own porting or even perhaps some other application where you haven't quite got the reach that you would like to have when you're using these things and it's just a simple matter of cutting a thread part way along the shafts and screwing them into those push rod ends and all of a sudden you've got a much more useful longer reach cutting or polishing tool to do the job.